morning. <sighs> How are you today? I want you to just breathe into your ribs. When you put your, place your hands right on your ribs, you're gonna breathe in and let them move. Ready? <sighs> Let's do it again. <sighs> One more. Shoulders up, open your heart, oh, open the heart. Shoulders up, open the back heart. Oh, you're gonna move your neck side to side. Whew, hello, hello body. Let's get some heart, side heart open. You're gonna breathe right into your side heart. And another side. Oh my gosh, oh, let's do that again. Here we go. And again. Oh, so good. Okay, now oh, let's call on our spiritual team. Let's call on our angels and our guides and those who are here to help us with this work and with our lives. We're just going to invite them in into the divine light to come and sit with us, to hold this space with us. We're going to ask that light will touch our ears so we can spiritually hear them, hear God, hear the divine. The light will touch our third eye chakra that we can have access to our gifts of seeing visions, of hearing, knowing, feeling truth. The light will cleanse our lips so we speak only what needs to be spoken. Ah, the words that we speak become truth and reality. Hmm. It's a very mighty request. So it allows us to be very aware of the words that we're speaking. Very aware of the words that we are creating our world with. Okay, so in this space, the words that we speak, we're going to actually invite them to become real because this space is a place of clear intention and active power. That's what this space is. So let's drop in. <sighs> it feels like this is really the practice today. So we're going to first pour light through the jaw. This is like the bridge. This is the bridge. This is like last night we did work on the throat. Interesting. I like this. Last time we did work on the throat chakra, opening up your voice, opening up, being able to be seen. But now the jaw, it's like the gatekeeper. So you can open this up, but if the gates close, like whatever, nothing is coming out, right? So let's pour light through the jaw. We're going to ask that light will clear out all the resistance. The light will clear out fear. The light will clear out doubt. The light will clear out... Um, anything that wants to shut down your power. Okay, so we're gonna ask the divine light to come and gather that all in, clear it out of your system, take a nice breath in. Oh, we're gonna ask the divine light to activate the jaw, activate the freedom in the jaw, activate the jaw to speak powerfully. Oh, activate the jaw to allow your power, then your light and your gifts to come up from the throat chakra and out the mouth. And then we've already cleaned the lips, but I really want to uh, take, let's see, focus and intention that the words that come out of your mouth are words that create worlds. They are words that create worlds. That means the world that you live in, you create by the words that come forth from your mouth. So I want you to breathe in. And I want you to drop in your heart and ask, what is one thing that I would love to create today? So for me, I have like kind of an impossible day. Like what needs to happen today is so impossible, right? So I'm going to actually clear that out. I'm going to clear out all the voice, all the words that say today's impossible. Like that is not true. I revoke that. It's not a real thing. Instead, I'm going to speak truth. So I'm going to speak that today is a day of miracles, that everything falls into place under grace in perfect ways, that I receive the support where I need support, that I receive divine miracles where I need divine miracles, and that I am at peace, my nervous system is at ease, and that everybody gets to where they need to go at the perfect time, in the perfect way, and in the perfect place. So I'm going to take a nice breath in. <sighs> I'm going to also speak truth that my day, I am filled with so much energy. I'm filled with so much love that I attract miracles around every corner, that I attract miracles around every second, and that I'm able to serve at my highest capacity, helping people change their lives, write their books, expand their brilliance, and be a deeply connected mother. <sighs> 
So that is how we weave magic. And that is how we take our words and create our world. So I'm gonna play some music for you. And I want you to speak. Get in your heart. What do you want to have happen today? <sighs> if there is noise coming up like there was for me, clear it out. Say, I revoke it. This isn't true. This isn't actually what's happening today. And then you're going to speak what is. And when you speak what is, you speak as though it's already happened, right? Like when I said, I am serving in my highest capacity and I'm a deeply connected mother. I'm speaking as though it's already so. I'm not saying I will be, I want to be. No, that's bologna and cheese. We're going to speak it as though it is already so. All right, let's take a nice breath in. Everything is working out for us. Now we're going to ask our angels to help us be very aware of the words that we speak today. We're going to ask them to be in our ears, in our hearts, and tapping us on the shoulder that when we go to speak something that we don't want to have happen, that we don't bring it through this powerful gateway of creation. We only speak, only speak what we would like to create. In the words of Florence Scovel Shin, your words are your magic wand. Your words are your magic wand. Use them wisely, use them powerfully, and you will create the world that you want to live in. One more breath in. And I ask the divine light to pour through you from the crown of your head all the way down to the soles of your feet, wrapping you in this magic, wrapping you in your power and the divine power. And I will see you tonight.